How's it going guys, it's your Deep here and it's time for episode number 5 of my Via Pro Mikael Pedersen NHL 13 series. Uh, it's been a quite a bit of time since I last op uploaded an episode of this, but it has does take, a t it does take time to uh, capture some uh, gameplay, so I decided to uh, play the games all the way up to the end of December and then this will be the video covering those. And uh, so to start off, we're in a game... We're going to be playing Pittsburgh, and as you can see, uh, Ryan Smith has the puck. Pedersen picks it up, and he snipes it past Flurry to get a goal in the early stages of the game. We're down 2-1. Pedersen comes back the other way, makes a nice move past the defenseman, and Payarvi will put it away and make it 2-2. But the game will finish 3-2 for Pittsburgh. Goal and assist there. Uh, we go into our next game against the Blackhawks, and basically what I'm going to be doing is showing you the highlights, basically the games that Pedersen does well in, so... A lot of these games, I I went no points, so I'm not I'm not gonna bother showing you those. Anyways, we get we're against Chicago to start off. Patterson would get a nice uh, breakaway there and put it away, no problem. Comes back the other way and kind of backhands it right around Corey Crawford to make it two nothing. And then with about 14 uh, minutes left in the second, Patterson would come along here, make a nice uh, cut inside and complete the hat trick, sniping it past Corey Crawford. And that's what the game would finish. 3 0. First star for uh, Mikael Pedersen there. Three points on nine shots. And in the uh, fall, following game, we played the Nashville Predators. Another first star performance in a sim. It was uh, 2 0. And with that, we end up moving up on up to the first line. And so the Edmonton Oilers feel like we're doing better than Nuge, who has been doing pretty well. He's, I think he's got like 20 points in 25 games or something like that. So he's actually doing well. Uh, Edmonton, as you can as you saw, there we're uh, sixth in the West. Los Angeles is leading in the West. This is the, at the end of November. And uh, Columbus has 19 points in there in the 13th. We are leading the team in points. We have 20 goals, 5 assists, 25 points. And uh, we'll go, go look at Columbus. And it's Alexi Vagno in second in his team with points, 19 points 20, in 22 games, uh, 12 goals, and 7 assists. So uh, both the, both of us are doing pretty good so far. Uh, in the next game, we're going to go play against Ottawa. And to start off... We call for the pass from Everly. Pick it up. We'd be gone. It's Snipe 2 1, just like that. Pedersen, I think I upgraded his wrist shot power up to 99, so his uh, shot is lethal <laughs> at, at the least. He'd end up feeding Hemsky on the assist there, but this game would finish five, a 5 3 loss. And so we'll go into a game against the Sharks here. Uh, Edmonton is doing pretty well. They're in a playoff spot right now. And to start off, 0 uh, 0, Miko Pedersen. We we'll pick up the puck, the loose puck, and fire it away to get his first of the game. One nothing there. This game would end up becoming 3-3, and in the third, Smead would find Hall, and then nice uh, skate by Patterson to get open, and he puts it past Niemi, and just like that, we take the lead 4-3 with under five minutes left. But somehow Edmonton finds a way to lose it. Second star honors there with uh, two goals. So once again, we're playing a decently well. We're going against Minnesota Wild, who I think at this point are first. In the Western Conference, I think they were 19 and 9 or something like that, and a nice play by Payar by uh, Pedersen to feed uh, Everly for the goal. There, one assist on that in that game with uh, two penalty minutes, and we go again to a game against Toronto. And uh, to start off, Komisarek would uh, nail Pedersen, and you know what I said: Pedersen does not like when he gets uh, doesn't get his way, so he's gonna drop the gloves with Komisarek. This is a game against his boyhood team that he followed, and uh, a nice uh, couple uh, punches there. Training punches. Pedersen's uh, being a little cocky, cocky here, moving back and forth, but then he starts throwing the punches. Tommy Sarek's blocking well. And what do we have here? Yep, Tommy Sarek wins the fight. So, uh, a good fight there, though. Went a long time, but Pedersen wasn't able to pump up uh, his team or the crowd as much as he uh, hoped for. Anyways, he gets, uh, he gets on the line change here. He's down in one on one. Komisarek's blocking him, and he rocks Pedersen again. And you know what's gonna happen in there? It's time for round two, baby. Here we go. And Pedersen comes out with full punches. Just keeps going at Komisarek, knocks his helmet off, and it's a knockout. Pedersen gets his revenge there. A nice uh, fight. And just like that, round two goes to Pedersen. And then here in the third period, Pedersen knocks out Komisarek. Everly feeds Everly for the pass. Uh, 
couldn't finish, and he decides, you know what, we're going to settle this once and for all. We're going to go to round three here. Once again, black eyes on Commissaire, black eyes on Pedersen. Pedersen's just rocking the punches. Keeps going. And he knocks out Komisarek again to win uh, two out of three fights in this game. So Komisarek and Pedersen look like they're going to have a little bit of rivalry maybe. Uh, here, uh, 17 penalty minutes total. As you can see right there, 17. So a uh, crazy game there for Pedersen. And we'll go into our next game against Winnipeg. Uh, he's, uh, Pedersen's on a little bit of a cold streak. He gets a chance here in the first minute of the game. But Stewart does a great job of... Uh, taking away the puck and Pedersen's not too pleased with that so he's going to drop the gloves with Stewart's he's going through a little bit of uh, hissy fit rage there Mikel Pedersen and he comes out with full punches once again it worked against Komisarek will it work against Stewart of course it does he beats Stewart there and uh, just like that he's won his three last fights in the NHL Mikel Pedersen he's doing a great job uh, pumping out the crowd early, up in, early in this game and it would do him uh, justice as they would win uh, Edmonton would win 2 nothing. And uh, that will take us toward the end of the year, where Edmonton is fine, finds themselves in fifth place. Columbus finds themselves in twelfth, with uh, just six points back of eighth. Pedersen has 35 points, 26 goals, nine assists, and 38 games to lead his team. Vino's got 28 points, 16 goals, 12 assists, and uh, 37 37 games played. And uh, as you can see in the rookie skaters, it's Pedersen and Vino that are leading it both, with Justin Shelton third. Uh, so anyways, that's the end of episode uh, number five for Mikkel Pedersen. I uh, promise I'll get another Be A Pro uh, out soon since uh, the all uh, the game everyone's been waiting for is uh, coming up shortly. And it'll be uh, Columbus versus Edmonton, Mikkel Pedersen versus Alexi Vigno. We'll see how that one will go. That will be in the next episode, so look forward to that. Okay, so anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that Mikkel Pedersen Be A Pro episode. Sorry for not uploading in a while, but... I will uh, try to get more episodes out for Mika Pedersen. If you, did, if you uh, did enjoy this, please leave a like. I greatly appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, uh, I gr if you can, that'd be awesome. Uh, if you have subscribed, keep keep on uh, the uh, keep on supporting me. I greatly appreciate it uh, for every video. Anyways, hope you hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you guys later. Have a great weekend. Peace. Follow me on Twitter for the latest updates on my videos.